That's how we say good morning in our language. <laughs> so I don't even want to tell you what time it is. We were pretty pretty beat. We woke up, it's pouring down rain. We're already trying to dry out all of our gear at camp. We've got, you're good, clear. We've got packs, boots, clothes, like everything was drenched. You guys know how horrible it is hunting in wet gear. And our packs kind of smell, so we gotta descent those somehow. Go in kind of light, do the cat road shuffle over here, come back and then do an evening hunt pretty hard. So hopefully we'll get into some action. Day four, welcome to the madness. Yes. Nice job, dude. He's just trying to outrun me. <laughs> we pulled up to a spot, seen a rig there, and I was like, damn it. I guess we'll have to leave, go somewhere else. Then we see arms waving, and uh, his truck had a flat tire. And uh, we helped him change it. Yeah, and we kind of know some of who they are, too. It's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, they live close to us back home, so. Kind of cool just BSing and sharing stories of what we've ran into so far. So it feels good to help people out, you know. I've been in the situation many, many times. It's nothing to take a couple extra minutes and help someone. They didn't have their tire key to get their spare down, so Thanks, I had to Lord. had to give them my spare. But unfortunately, I mean, seven years on in this truck, I've never dropped that thing before. And it doesn't go. even fit my truck, so there they go. They can have it. Yeah, you never know when you're gonna need help from somebody, so it's always good to stop and help. Bad news is, just realized, my spare is back at camp in the trailer. You better get going. <laughs> so hopefully I don't get a flat now. We're gonna have to start carrying it. <laughs> Waiting for the rain to die down, we're gonna go on our light packs. Right there, doesn't have any names. End of day four. Called in some bulls. Couldn't get shots. 
and they weren't really the caliber we were looking for, but did hear a few bugles, so hopefully they're starting to bugle. We cut across and made a big loop by our camp, so, and we just saw a little five point bowl. So we're gonna head out partly in the dark. Day four, sorry that footage wasn't that great. But as we get into these bowls, it's gonna get better and better. You gotta love it out here. That's the awesome. line. That's the deer tenderloin from yesterday. Eating what we kill and some other things. Yeah, this is last year's elk. Burger. You won't be having many tacos in the coming year if you don't kill one on this trip. <laughs> I got leftover burger at home. No cilantro. All right, we need a first react impression. First impression. Hmm. Good. Mm hmm. Not overwatery. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's better than at home. My turn. Five or six bowls today. He's in the river. He's in the river? Yeah. 